we talk a lot about how there's a science literacy problem in our society, but what we talk about less is that science has a social literacy problem. The only way that we're going to continue to be able to invest as a society in the kind of cutting edge research that's making people's lives better is if scientists are able to share what they do in a way that's fun and meaningful and helps people understand why it's important in a way that's accessible. My name is Jade Marks. I'm the Science Communication Manager for the Museum of Natural History. I am kind of the facilitator and liaison between the collaborating faculty and between their two student groups. My name is Pete Dickey. I'm the TA for this Movement 3 class. I'm a senior actor at the University of Michigan and I've been helping develop this movement under the microscope piece with the group of sophomore actors and the group of senior biology students. My name is Morgan DeSantis. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology. I'm the instructor for MCDB 401, which are the science portion of this collaboration. I'm Amber. My name is Katherine Broderick. I'm Bella Detweiler. I'm a senior and I'm a biology, health, and society major. I'm a junior and I'm studying CMBS, which is Cellular Molecular Biomedical Science. I'm an acting major sophomore with performance. I thought it was really refreshing because we've done a lot of new things that I've never done. It's a really nice break from STEM, I think. Upon taking this class, I was kind of interested in like reading the syllabus. It spoke about like movement. It talked about like movement of cells. I didn't have a ton of background in that stuff, so I was very interested to like kind of learn more just about cells and how they move and like the cytoskeleton. But I actually did not even know that there was this whole component like working with the theater program. And it's been a really cool experience. It was kind of shocking when I first got into the class. I was like, like the, the theater students came in. I was like, what like what is going on? Movement is a required class that we take. And really, it just helps you get into your body. And I would take it even if it wasn't required because I definitely feel aspects of my life that are bettered by movement, just in general. This is a movement piece called Movement Under the Microscope that was a project put forward by the Museum of Natural History here at the uh, university. So there's a senior biology class that gave presentations to all the sophomore actors in this Movement 3 course. And we've been developing movement and kind of dance material since those presentations. And now we're working together, right now we're at a rehearsal putting those two together. really exciting collaboration. It's been kind of amazing to watch students from very very different sort of fields communicate with each other and sort of learn a, a language that they both can use and engage with. I've never really done anything like this before. I think it's nice to combine biology and movement because they really do go hand in hand. I really do think that this is a nice um, combination of art and science. Oftentimes I feel like we think they're black and white where science is one thing and art's another thing. I think this is the first time that I've seen science portrayed with bodies and I think it's really cool honestly and I think it's a really refreshing class. Just being able to translate science to people who are non-science majors was really cool and getting to work with them was really cool. Language accessibility is really important in terms of science. I think especially, I know this performance, a lot of like younger people are coming, like young students. You want to get your message across, you want to talk about this really cool scientific concept, but it's so specific. Each of us slid into groups and we talked about like what we thought would be good in the performance, but we also had to just explain these concepts in general. And we used a lot of different analogies. I remember one group said it's like a breakup with your boyfriend and there was like the two cells like splitting and they're like you'll never see each other again. Like just using analogies that like are generic terms that people are used to hearing that makes it able to translate the science and I think the performance so far has done a really good job. When I first heard about it I was really scared because I know nothing about science. I hated it in high school. And in the beginning, I was cautious and I was frightened because we went to go visit the biology students' class and I had no idea what they were talking about. It was like a foreign language and I was really confused. 
But then they were really accommodating and they had videos and they showed us pictures that they had in their live shows and it definitely helped. I think that just overall, I feel much more like comfortable and at ease with the concept of science now that it's in a medium that I understand. I think uh, the biology of uh, a cell is really complicated um, and there's all of these really interesting biological uh, processes going on that actually lends itself really well to movement material. Not just a cell, you know, kind of wiggling in place. There's tons of really exciting things happening on a very small scale. Things happen really fast, they build, they destroy really quickly. And so a lot of our movement piece focuses on these ideas of chemicals chaining and destroying and pulling each other to really uh, illustrate how things are moving within a cell and the cell itself moving. It's been really amazing. I mean, even for me, I feel like I'm learning a lot seeing how Svetha and the theater students engage with this material. I think that the students in my class also maybe understood the scientific concepts better because of the collaboration. A portion of this class was designed to make a performance that would convey some abstract scientific concepts to a broader audience using the physical body. The specific thing that we're focusing on is the cytoskeleton, which is a structure inside of cells that gives them support, shape, and also facilitates movements within the cell. The human body is a really perfect analogy for some of the components of the cytoskeleton because it moves, it's kinetic. When I started working here, um, my main goal or my main responsibility is to teach science communication to undergrads to help prepare them for uh, practicing access as a part of their everyday life as young professionals. So when the opportunity arose to work with the School of Music, Theater, and Dance, uh, I got really excited about it. I think that accessibility in science and just STEM in general is really important because they have a lot of big terms and a lot of words that I don't understand. But then you can translate that into the idea of like movement and seeing somebody move the way that a cell would or like a microtubule makes it much more easier to understand what's going on inside of your body instead of trying to vocabularize and like use a giant thesaurus word and have a giant essay about it when this is something that you can like see or bring your kids and have them see and it's in the museum and everything is just like much more accommodating. I know that when I heard the music and I watched like the intro, I started to cry. <laughs> so like a kind of amazing to see this thing that was an abstract concept that Spets and I and Jade thought of and then to see it sort of come out. The whole thing, I like the whole thing. We have been rehearsing for quite a while. We've been doing, I don't know, three rehearsals so far. It's coming together really nice. So I'm really excited for the performance tomorrow. My favorite part would probably be the act in polymerization because I think it's really cool to see the dynamic movement of treadmilling, which is like the cycling of act and polymerization and depolymerization just kind of going in a cycle. It's really cool to see. As you might imagine, cell biologists and theater folks have very different methodologies for understanding, addressing, and grappling with the kind of big questions that need to be answered to you know, make our world a better place. My job is to help these two groups communicate with each other and help them learn to speak each other's language. I've really seen a lot of the biology students step outside of their comfort zones. I overheard a conversation between two students. Uh, one was saying that they had never taken any type of art class in, in college. No, you know, visual arts, no performance arts. And this was their first time doing something like this. Similarly, hearing the theater students talk, you know, with authority about actin and microtubules and cell division and cell migration and really mastering those concepts, which they maybe haven't thought about since high school. It, it's been really powerful. When we talk about science or share science using art, it opens doors to these topics 
to people with all sorts of different interests and all sorts of different passions.